Hi, Rocket. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Hey, everyone, and welcome back. Today's product of the video is the Celebrate Solid Perfume. I personally prefer the solid perfumes because I find there's just so many more uses for them. And sometimes the liquid perfumes, I have a little bit of like allergic reaction around my neck, but I've never had an issue with the solid perfumes. Just be careful because it is a solid perfume in warmer temperatures. It is going to melt, so don't leave it in a car or in any place that really gets too hot. Celebrate scent family one of my absolute favorite ones so if you've ever had the golden wonder bath bomb that usually would come out of christmas time that's that scent family it is amazing and the perfect product for today's video because we have the may lush subscription box today which actually is the birthday box i apologize last month i thought was the birthday box no that was not i was one month off this this is now their second anniversary box. So let's open it up. Yes, I thought I'd wear my <laughs> Cheddar's birthday crown for the birthday video, because let's be festive. And here we are. So already, first thing at the very top, the party begins here. So I'm almost calling this like their like invitation, which has a little bit of like the products that are in here for their second birthday. And I'm glad right off the top, I am seeing a little bit of little extra things, which looks like some Lush stickers. Yeah, there's, I think there's some stickers, which I'm surprised that Lush doesn't like sell these in stores or something. I'm sure there'd be lots of people who would like to get them. And this can't be that hard to manufacture and have lots of them. Like people would do it. And it's not like these ever go bad. So yeah, sell them in the store. That would be great, especially around actual Lush's anniversary, like the store's anniversaries. Just do it, it's easy enough. Everything in this box is kind of have a special label for the second anniversary. Let's see what we got. So first up, we have the Party On Shower Jelly, which this label, super fun, definitely special for their anniversary box. Now this is one product I actually didn't vote for because shower jellies, as you guys all know, I don't really use them, so I'm trying to use them up. I think we'll take a picture of it and then we'll send it to a friend. Very zesty, but almost like menthol-y. I know this is supposed to be a scent that like, if you are partying and you're kind of slowing down, the sm scent of it is supposed to like invigorate you and to like keep you going pretty much. So while I like the scent, I do have the scent in the temple balm, so I don't really need it in the shower jellies. So Nicholas, this is coming your way. Next up, we have the Happy Soap which this is totally cute. I love that they have like the lush kitchen edged on the front and the back of it has two little happy faces. So that's adorable. It kind of just smells like a generic piece of soap. Like I'm not really getting much of a scent out of it. And I figured for how much that lush loves citrus scents, this one has tangerine, Brazilian orange oil, which they always love. It doesn't have as much as a citrus scent as I thought it would. It's nice, it smells like generic soap. But the design of it, very cute. Probably one I'm not really gonna use or it's gonna be a long time till I use it. I think I'm gonna display it on the shelf. Something like here? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with this. Next product, we have the Cocktail Shower Gel. Now, Cocktail is a scent that came out a long time ago and I believe we used to have this same scent in the stores, but it was under the name Wash That Man Right Out of My Hair. Cocktail is the original name of it when it was the be Never Be Too Beautiful years and years ago. It's a scent that I, it, it, you very much either like it or you really don't like it. I wasn't necessarily a fan of it. It's okay. Like it's, I'm, it's never what agreed with me. Yeah, still nothing that I'm all that thrilled about. The one that was in stores was more of a red color. I much prefer purple. That's one of my favorite colors. So love the color change, love the label. Glad that it's only 100 grams. So at least when I'm using it, I don't have a lot of it. The scent is a weird one. Like it's jasmine, it has rose, it has a lang ylang. And then mixed all together, like I can't really smell the jasmine. I can't really smell this rose. So I don't know if it's like the lang ylang that I'm smelling, but the combination of the three of them together has never done it for me. It's always, it's a weirder scent and my scents do like mature and age, still one not really a fan of. Next product, we have a bubble bar. This is the Happy Birthday Bubble Bar, which I actually had one of these years and years ago. I think I bought it on somebody's D stash. Very old, very faded, pretty much had like no scent to it whatsoever. It smells like good Play-Doh. Is that weird? Again, not much of a scent to it. Like it kind of is slightly boring, like cute packaging. Love this little tag that even has like to from like that's adorable i understand it's supposed to be like a little birthday 
present totally cute scent meh but completely understand why it's in this box it was bubble bar for birthdays it's their birthday makes sense design cute scent meh Next up, we have something that I've never really seen too much at Lush. That is the bath confetti. And I'm not sure if this is like bath bombs or what. Let's open it up. Oh, is it? Oh, do I have to rip it? I don't want to rip the box. I've been taking pictures of it. Let's see how I can artfully do this without like wrecking things. Oh, cute. Okay, so they are like little tiny little bath bombs. I thought they were going to be like paper wafers or something. But yeah, they are like little bath like little tablets and stuff that have the number two on them so there's a pink there's a blue and kind of like a tangerine little yellow which some of them have broken which not surprising i guess you're supposed to like throw it into the water and they'll fizz in little colors sort of reminds me of little like embeds that they would have into like bath bombs well that's a cute little concept i think this would be super cute for kids because if parents just want like a tiny little one that they can throw or even like three of them is still way smaller than a little bit of like Ickle Baby Bot or one of those smaller bath bombs. So that'd be a cute idea. I wonder at like the birthday parties if this would be a cute thing because you could get it with the different numbers on it and kind of customize it whomever's birthday that's there. And even if the birthday person is in like double digits like they're 11 or 15 or 25 you can still have those numbers to put it together. Like, really. And that would be like a little extra special treat. Oh yeah, the scent. Almost smells like it's the Celebrate scent family, but just like a slightly weaker version of it. Oh, and apparently it has popping candy in it. So that's fun. And me being like the crazy person that I am, I almost want to keep like the three best ones and then I'll use the rest and then just keep these other ones in the box because I'm just crazy. <laughs> and the last product in the box is the 29 High Street Solid Perfume, which this is a scent family I love a lot. And the scent is supposed to remind you of walking into a Lush store and what it smells like. So it's not really like one exact scent, it's a whole bunch of scents. I actually do have a solid perfume of the 29 High Street, but in more of like this kind of container than like the glass containers. So I have two versions of the same one. The actual liquid 29 High Street perfume is a perfume you can only get at the original Lush store, which is in Poole. And it's called 29 High Street because technically that's their address. And so one of the last trips when I was in the UK, I always go to London, just hang out with friends, see things. So on my way back to my family's house, I did a side trip, which is kind of London's like here, Poole's like down here, and where I was going, my family was like up here. So I kind of made this like long journey to Poole, literally for a couple of hours, just to go to the Lush store, just to pick up some goodies that they had there, like the perfume, like the postcard. They also have a, they have a whole range of stuff that is just 29 High Street themed there. Had some lunch and then hopped back on the train a couple hours later and went back up to Shropshire. So this is definitely a special perfume that's in my collection. And now this will also be a little special one. And there we have it. So this is the May 2022, their second birthday box. I think it's pretty decent. I will say I'm surprised that the actual box it came in wasn't decorated a little bit more. Every other month's one has like fun little designs that's themed. They couldn't print this kind of design on there. It didn't even have to be in color, just in the fun pattern. Like the box itself seems pretty boring compared to like the rest of the inside packaging. The products inside of it, definitely very cute. Definitely on themed, on point with the like confetti, the party on, the little birthday package, having a cocktail, like totally get the theme and that kind of makes sense. Personally for myself and the sense of these, it's kind of a meh box as not really using a shower gels, don't really like the cocktail scent, the scent that's in the bubble bar, kind of boring and same within the soap. So like the main product I'm excited about is the perfumes. And while we did get a little bit of swag with the stickers, it would have been nicer if it was like slightly more than just some little paper stickers. Something that just had a little bit more oomph to it. So while overall looks good, fun products, I'm sure people will be really happy about this. For me, as always, they can do more. There's something that that's like, they're almost there. They're like almost like if it was like the box itself was more decorated. If this extra swag we got was just a little bit more, I would be a lot more impressed with this box. I feel like I'm being so negative with the boxes the last little bit. And I don't necessarily mean to be, but I'm just being honest. And while I'm sure 
lots of thought and care do go into these. It still just kind of feels like something is still missing. And I don't know if that's just like my thoughts with Lush are kind of just changing and I haven't exactly been the most impressed with them over like the last like year and a half. And my love for it while it's still there, it's definitely kind of like waning a little bit. So I feel like I am being a little bit more critical of them. And you know what? That is okay. I don't know if you guys would necessarily want me to always just be like constantly raving about something. I'm like, no, this is my honest opinion. And I hope that's part of why you watch me because I always give you guys my open and honest opinion on all of these products and that will never change. I mean, I'm not exactly somebody who's going to sugarcoat. That has never been me. And because all these products I buy with my own money, nothing is sponsored, nothing is given to me that are in these videos. Years ago when they were doing the first look Lush Use program and Lush would send me a package for like the new releases or seasonal ranges and stuff like that. I'm still gonna be honest. You're still gonna get my open and honest opinion on the products. Any hoozy. So in my last video, when I did talk about how I was going back to like working in film for the summer and how things would be a little bit more sporadic with my posting on here and in Instagram everywhere. And after the last couple of weeks of now working and seeing what my schedule is like, oh yeah, oh, oh definitely. There, there's long hours, I am working my butt off and pretty much only get to like sit down when it's lunchtime or when I have to go to the bathroom. So thank you for everybody that will stick around with me by the end of the summer. Very, very much appreciated. And I will still be posting as I said before, like as I have time, it may only be kind of like once or twice a week or something, but I'm always here. And you can always see what I've had for lunch on set because why not? That's at least something I know I can consistently do. But the show is fun. We have a really great cast. I like the people I work with. On a whole, while there's always dum-dums where you work, it just is what it is. I am enjoying it. And a lot of it, like as sure most people know, it's the people that you're working with. But I know that when I finally do have time off in December, holy crap, am I going to take the time off and just like sleep, be, get away from it. Like, I think that's when we're going to BC. So I will finally enjoy my vacation. Anyway, that is all for me today. I hope you guys are happy and healthy, having a good week. The sun's coming out here. It's getting nice and warmer. I'm still in a sweater because that's just me. Cause I am not a fan of too hot. I like it to be slightly on the cooler side. I am a fall weather type of person. Extreme heat, not for me. So whenever we do get those really hot temperatures here, not going to be a fan. I will ugh, melt. But that is a future Katie problem. <laughs> so hopefully wherever you guys are, it is still nice and cool and not too hot yet. But until then, I will see you guys all in the next video, whenever that will be. And love you all so much and can't wait to chat with you again. Okay, bye.